Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today we're gonna talk about uh, some basic scene management. So on our last episode we end up right here and we talked about continuing modeling the body of this creeper. So the first thing I will do is to change the size of my voxel uh, volume here. I will make it 8 by 12 by 26. I just know that these are the right uh, measurements to work on this model you can make you could make it bigger on your case and just work on your model and then narrow it down so the first thing i will do is put this head all the way up so you can go to your move tool clicking this and then just click and drag up and you can otherwise just when wherever tool is active doesn't matter you can press ctrl and then you click and drag to move uh, something to have in mind is that depending on how you grab your model you can drag for instance to the sides to go back and forth or up and down so it's important where you click is not the same uh, to move it so be careful with that so I will just move this all the way up and then I will continue to model the body of this creeper so I will just select the same color here i can use my picker tool to select this green color and then with the box mode i will attach and i will also use my mirror mode in x and i will go one two three in and then one two three and four this will be the body of the creeper so just two in on both sides i'll just complete it here and then i will use the face mode to just extrude the body all the way down and I know that the body of the creeper should be 12 uh, voxels down so we have one already so let's go 10 more and notice that in here you will be able to read how many voxels you already created so if I go click and drag you can see on the bottom left how my layers are uh, being piled up so I know now I have 10 layers in total plus the one I already had that's uh, 11 uh, but it's actually 12 so let's add one more and in case we got it wrong something we could do is go to for instance the erase button and just with the box mode just erase a bunch of boxes just drag a line down and look on your bottom left to know how many you erased that's a quick way to count your voxels instead of going like one two three you can just delete a line or paint it or whatever and if you look on your bottom left you will be able to see how many you changed good so we have 12 for our body and then I will just make a box here attach with the box mode that is one two three and I will complete it like that and I will just continue to put this one up two three four five until I meet the side here and I need one more I will just click with my face mode and we have the legs right there and I could just do the same create the box and, I, and extrude it or I could just for instance select with my marquee selection mode I will go uh, to a very side view like that I will select everything and then I will go Control C Control V and it seems like nothing nothing happened but if you now move with holding control or using your transform tool you can just move it away and you see that it's just like it was overlapping. So just like that we made our creeper very simple stuff. Just now I show you that you can just change its numbers to make this bigger. Something else you can do is click, is click this button here instead and this will open these options here that you can just either move up and down or you can also use the cubes to increase the voxel size. Uh, the volume of voxels you can work with so this is another way to to do it something else you can do is if you hold shift you can do both sides at the same time and then when you're ready just press enter and you will be able to have if you go back to your attach mode and box you will be able to have all of this new space to work if you wanted to narrow this down instead imagine you have this and you want exactly the size of your creeper model you can just click this button instead and that will narrow down your working area additionally while you are working uh, changing these things you will notice that this arrow becomes clickable and that's basically an undo and redo button because your control set won't 
uh, undo these movements we're doing. So we have here the undo and redo buttons. Furthermore, up here you have this arrow that will allow you to go in and out your working area. So basically whatever volume that is selected, you can click that and edit it. If you go to attach or whatever, you can start editing. When you're finished, you click out. You can also press tab to do the same or you can double click into the model, double click out to go in and out. So we mentioned uh, right now we are outside of the working area. So now we can move the whole group of voxels around. And we mentioned that if you control C and control V, you will duplicate your object. So now if I move it away, you will see that I have another one underneath. And this copy of it, if I go in now and I edit it, you will see that is a unique copy that has no link to the other one. But what happens if you had a bunch of these creepers and you wanted to make changes to all of them at once. If that's what you want to do, you can click up here in the top left, this button. And if now you press shift, you hold shift and you left click and drag, you just created a reference of the object. This means that now if I went in and made any change, that change would be reflected in the other one. So then you can have a lot of models that are the same. And then if you forgot to change something or you made a mistake, you can just fix one and all of them will be fixed. If you wanted this to stop being referenced, to stop being linked, let's say you can select the model and click here where it says ref D, which means, which means convert reference to duplicate instead. So if you click that, now this model is again unique from each other. And you could have several of these duplicates I'm holding shift and dragging with my left mouse button. You see that all of them are um, references. But now if I select one of them and I dereference it, you will see that when I change this one, this one doesn't change, but all the others do. So that are reference for you. And the next button here, all it does is allows, allows you to go in and out models. So you can just double click this one and without leaving with the arrow or tab, you can just double click another one and it will just go straight into that one. If you're working with many models at the same time or you're just jumping between one and the other, this could be useful for you. Otherwise, don't worry too much about it. This reference also could be used, for instance, to make tiles. You can just change a lot of tiles for your floor, uh, for a floor of your model or something very quickly using this method. Furthermore, if you press Ctrl N, this will create an empty volume for you to work. Next, something I would like to show you is, for instance, I will just create a new voxel volume and I will create whatever, let's say uh, a hat for this creeper. So I will move it up, and I will position it, it looks amazing. Now I will just narrow it down with this button and we have our hat for the creeper. What, would, what could you do if you wanted both of these models to be together to be one thing instead of being two separate things, right? So you can select everything and you can open this option that says Boolean and you can union. So when you do that, both things will now be on the same volume and they will no longer be separated. So if I delete this now, you see that I lost some information. So if you wanted to have everything in one object, if you wanted to export or if you wanted to erase intersections between voxels, maybe that's a good way to do it. You have also other options here. For instance, instead of Boolean, you can do the intersection and it will only keep the voxels that are touching. And you have other options here. In general, you will most likely only use this one. Just try the other ones and, and see what they do. Some more options I would like to show you. Some more tools are here. When you are out of your working area, you will see that here you have uh, the transform tools. So with this one, you can just click and move your model freely. Then uh, with this one, you will be able to just drag and select your models. Something important is that you need to select the whole thing instead, instead of just leaving a piece out because otherwise it won't select it. You need to just make sure that you're covering the whole model to select it. Otherwise you can just click it. And then we have this option here that is very cool. That is the wrap option. So with this tool, when you click it, you will get uh, again, these uh, arrows, this gizmo to, to move around. And if you 
use the little cubes, you can start creating duplicates of this object. Now, if you want them referenced, just make sure that this is clicked before you do it. Otherwise, just click it off. And when you're ready, just press enter and you, you will see that you will create a little army of creepers. So if I go back to my move tool, I can just click and move the things around. Uh, and all of these will be, uh, well, in this case, they won't be referenced because I clicked the button off. But if you wanted them to be referenced, all you would need to do is just gonna delete all of these, click this and then duplicate them. Something else that you can do before doing this is moving these options here. So basically these are X, Y and Z spaces. So if you want space in X, the red arrows, you just add them in the first one. For instance, six voxels between each duplicate. And um, something that is a bit annoying is that you need to reselect and then you, you need to click away, then click again. And now you will see this updated. So uh, I will just start duplicating and you see that it's leaving a six voxels gap in between each one of them. So when you press enter, you will have your army of creepers with six voxels gap. Now I don't have any space on Y. So if I do that now, they will be touching on the legs, but I could just add one click away select and then do it and that will give us our copies with one voxel in between them great so the next tool that you have up here is the uh, pattern tool and when you just click it and try it out you will see that it just makes this little cube and this is why to use this tool you need to go to your project tab that might be collapsed all the way to the right and in here within project, you will find the pattern list. So if you click it, you will see that right now you have a box here. So in the library, if you click around, you will see that there are other things. You can just click any of them and start clicking around to create those. And you can save this if you just save your model in the same folder that these things are. So it's probably within your Magica Voxel folder. So all this does is just creates uh, if you if you are working with a kit bash that you produced and you're uh, want to use the parts uh, to make robots or to make cities it's very common that people will have uh, these things saved on a library and they will just be able to access them very quickly so that's what this is for if you wanted to to make a new one you can just open pattern and just look for any model you might have so if I import any of my models right now you will see that it comes in the different pieces of the model that you have so i can just like start placing this wherever I, wherever i want and it will also bring other things that you might have saved on your scene uh, so yeah that's how that tool works nice so going back to our single creeper and uh, what i would like to show you next is that you can work on your on your and model separating it into pieces and that's what we will do now so one way to do this is you just go in with tab or pressing this arrow and you can maybe go to orthogonal so it's a bit easier to select and make sure you go to zero zero to be frontal with your model to be absolutely frontal and then i will for instance drag and select all of the voxels from the head i will control x and i will go out and I will control V. This will allow you to paste the head as a separate thing. So you see now if I select the head and I move it, you see it's separated. The volume, it will remain the same, but I can just narrow it down to be just the head. So I will do the same for the body. So I will go in, I will go frontal and I will select all of the body, control X, go out, control V and now narrow it down. So now we have our head and the legs. Just so you see it, I will narrow this down too. And for the legs, I will just go side view and I will press tab, just control X, those two in the front, control V. And now I'll go frontal again. And I will select this, control C, I'm in tab. Then I will select half of them, one, two, three, four. Make sure that the other side also has four. I will control X. And now you see I removed that 
front left leg so I will go out and press ctrl V narrow down and then I will do the same with this one in the back I could even go top view select 4 make sure you selected everything yes ctrl X go out ctrl V and now I can just narrow everything and you see we have our four legs and this would be great if you wanted to make an animation or if you wanted to export this model for a game it's better to have it separated into pieces so it's easier to animate on top of this and this will be the last thing I will show you in this video you have some layers here so you can select something and this the color of the box will represent the color of the layer so you see we have seven colored layers and some extra gray ones so if I select this for instance you see this little arrow if I were to click in this layer instead now you see that this becomes purple and that allows us to turn this blue layer on and off instead in case we just want to work with the body without the head annoying us and you can also name this layer you can right click and name it head or whatever and just have it there there is another way to do this and that is much deeper and I will just do a video for that specifically which is the outliner which is this button here and this is a very very powerful tool that if you are someone a bit of a maximalist and you work with big scenes you need to learn this one so stay tuned for this uh, on a future video make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss any of the videos and see you in the next lesson